Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a quick, uh, a quick response video uh, regarding the, um, the video that the beloved Elder Kazakh uh, out of the Great Millstone, Mississippi, uh, branch did going into uh, the dialogue he had with IUIC uh, during the Jackson State uh, championship game. Uh, I was just able to watch this lesson today. Did it like a week ago, <clears throat> and I heard about what had happened. But uh, you know everything's through the spirit, and I was able to watch it today. And uh, I mean, I still got to watch the whole thing. I got about maybe 45, 50 minutes in, you know, and the spirit hopped on me, you know, to uh, you know touch on it. You know, you know these individuals. You know, IUIC is not the only one, but you know these other wayward camps and individuals that really don't know, you know, what's really going on. They don't really understand what they're involved in. You know, they want to. Ever since our elders, um, our elder apostles, you know, brought out, you know, Deuteronomy the twenty-second chapter, you know, some time ago, <clears throat> during the time of uh, uh, it was a while ago, but I know Sarnetta, and um. Uh, uh, brother polite you know had went down uh to to the camp uh and tried to you know pretty much make the elders look bad you know and, and at the end of the day they really made themselves look stupid because years later here it is um <laughs> brother polite you know caught a, a a grape charge but needless to say uh the point i want to make in this lesson is as far as iuic is concerned you know because you had individuals you know you know, on on the big mic, you know, you know, call the beloved elder, you know, uh, a rapist, man. You know, which is a serious offense. You know, because none of you, none of you individuals, none of you camps, you know, that that have these things to say, you know, about the elders and apostles, you know, of Great Millstone on down to us like-minded men, you know, that you know believe in the same doctrine, the true gospel, man. All right, the true gospel we believe through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You don't have <laughs> two to three witnesses, man, proving that anybody from Great Millstone on down, all right, to us like-minded men have done these things, okay? These are false accusations, okay? You're bearing false witness, man, which is which is a, an offense pursuing the Exodus, the 20th chapter. It also is, is uh, it's worded a little different, but it goes into it in uh, Exodus, the 23rd chapter as well. You see, this is a big offense, man. <laughs> you know, and it's definitely not gonna go unanswered. You know, you 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 wait with camps and individuals, you know, that you know wanted to come out of your mouth and make these statements and these false accusations, all okay? right, bearing false witness, you're gonna pay for these things, man. Hey, thus says the scriptures. Okay, and we're gonna prove that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that you individuals are gonna pay for these things. All right, this is not a light offense. You know, and you know, as we get closer and closer to the end, you know, to the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, which is the end of Esau's world, but the beginning of Jacob, right? It's becoming more and more clear, you know, and more and more evident, you know, who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with, man. You can clearly see that the spirit, all right, the Rakak Wadash is not resting upon IUIC and these other wayward camps as well. I want to carry sticks to camp. You know, they want to uh, just do all, all types of worldly things, man. They want to be rappers. They want to rap the truth to, to the to the to the Akiyam and Akwa. Come on, man. This is not what's written. This is not what the prophets of old did. You know, giving credence that they are not the prophets of old, man. You know, but through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, I don't want to make this too long. I just want to make the point. But, uh, you know, before we get going in the video, let me grab this real quick. In Proverbs, <clears throat> and forgive me, I'm a little under the weather, but you know, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Lord willing, we can make this happen, 
right? The book of Proverbs chapter 25 and verse two. And I'm bringing this out because, you know, you so-called leaders of these, of these, of these camps and so-called men of the Lord, so-called prophets, so-called teachers, right? You're not moving in the spirit, okay? Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, you're coming in. You're coming in a, in a, in a, in a wicked spirit, man. All right, you, you're not coming in a, in a, in a righteous, a spiritual spirit. You know, and and it's clear by your actions, man. But anyways, the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-five and verse two, and it reads, "It is the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings." Is to search out a matter Okay Now here it is You have this individual Yelling out on the loudspeaker That the beloved elders are rapists man In front of all these people The man's family was there You know Other people in the community Hey Like the brother said They live there man Here it is You're slandering the man On false accusations man That you don't have Two or three witnesses To bear that truth Hey, that's a serious offense, man. That's a very serious offense. And you're going to have to answer for it, man. Hey, maybe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to starve you niggas out when this famine hits. Who knows? Hey, you're going to pay for it one way or another. You better believe that. You better believe that. Now, let me grab this, let me grab this clip real quick. <clears throat> I mean, you, you, you support that guy, but you hate your brother that teach Israel, okay? And you accuse us of rape, but it's okay. I ain't going to be emotional. You know, earlier I was emotional about it, and, and, and especially when it happened, you know what I'm saying? Because we got families. Don't you know brothers got daughters? I got a daughter. You know what I'm saying? Men in GMS got families, Y'all, but you know what? That's That's fine. You can have it, man. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I can have it. We're going to see how it turn out, though. Exodus 20 and 16, man. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. What proof do you have that us or a great millstone raped anybody? You know? But you do have a case dealing with IUIC. Uh, who was that? Uh, Something, Uh, somebody, Morgan. But you know, you, you, you got different situations of members in IUIC, they've done things that y'all accuse us of. You know? Check it out. See how, see how who you call God work. See how who you call God work. All right? Things y'all accuse us of, it's members in y'all group that do it. We ain't did that. All right? But y'all gonna pay for that, man. And you didn't think it was a big deal. And, and, and that's wicked. Here it is. I'm... I'm on my way to my job, to my gig, which we bone counts, right? That's slander. That's slander. That was also wicked. Okay? I'm on my way to my gig. Basically, you scream that I'm a rapist on camera. If you're from Jackson, which most of y'all not even from Jackson. Y'all came down here for this event. We live here. Joe? All right? We live here, man. We live here. Y'all don't live here, most of y'all. So here it is, I, you know, some of us got to have dealings with people that got that live down here. Now, what if they see that video y'all put up and they look at me, well, this, this guy's a, 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 a rapist here, this and that. The most high, yeah, how about you, man? I'm going to deal with you guys, man. Okay? That's wicked as hell, bro. I and that's 100. Yeah, how about you, man? I'm going to deal with you, brothers, man. Y'all going to get dealt with, man. Hey, that's not going to go unanswered. You see? Because even in Evil E's uh, world, right? When it comes to his uh, <laughs> his system, when it comes to his laws, hey, there's something called defamation of character. Okay? You you guys violated the defamation law even in Evil E society, man. You see? And, and we can go get that. And this is because you didn't search out a matter. This is why I brought this out in Proverbs 25 and 2. You see? Y'all not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is raising up kings and priests, man. You see? You, you, you can't speak on things if you don't have the uh, the facts. 
And you sure as hell don't have those two or three witnesses, man. See? Because you're not coming in the right spirit. Yahweh Bashim is not dealing with you men, man. He's not dealing with a lot of you wayward camps, man. And it shows in your actions, your doctrine, your fruit. Yeah, you shall know a man by his fruit, man, as it's written. Now, let's get this real quick, right? Because even in evil E society, what did you commit? Defamation of character. How? Let's read about it, right? This is a Google search of defamation of character, right? Defamation of character happens when something untrue <clears throat> and damaging is presented as a fact to someone else. And in this case, a lot of people heard that, man. You are on the loudspeaker calling this man a rapist, right? Making the statement. Now, let's check this out. Making the statement only to the person the statement is about, right, is not defamation, right? For example, Tom, you're a thief, right? Nobody's around, right? But, right, let's continue reading. Because it does not damage that person's character in anyone else's eyes. You see, here it is. This man yelled it on the loudspeaker. Well, all these people are there, even this man's family, man. And not to mention, you you, you, you camps and, and individuals coming in the same spirit have been doing this for years to the elders and apostles on down. You know, via, via videos and stuff and lessons. And we've seen them. But you have no proof of these things. And you're making these, you're making these statements based off the doctrine that's being taught. That's part of scripture. Okay? There's a, uh, there's a sexual immoral law. That the, that the elders and apostles <clears throat> went into through the spirit. Hey, matter of fact, we're going to go into it right now. Why? Because it's the truth. Okay? Within a kingdom, all right, there will be rape in societies, in the society, in, in the community. Hey, it's going to happen. Let's go to, uh, where am I going? Deuteronomy, the tw 22nd chapter. You see, if you're catching offense to the doctrine, hey, then this thing's not for you, man. See this sun-dried laws, man. All right, let's go now. Laws on morality. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> All right, uh, where do I want to start? I'm going to go straight to the point, right? Deuteronomy 28. All right, so like it. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 28, right? If a man find a damsel, <clears throat> damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, right? She's not engaged to be married. She doesn't know a man. She's a virgin. And lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found. Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel, damsel's father <clears throat> 50 shekels of silver. And she shall be his wife because he has humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. And now for you slow bellies, right? Like the beloved brother out of, uh, Orlando, <laughs> Isaiah says, right? Let's grab this in a different, uh, let's grab it in the, uh, in the ESV to make it clear, okay? And we're going to get a few words, right? To make it plain. Hey, this is doctrine. No one's saying they condone it. All right, it was it, it, you, hey, we 144% hey, true. God be taught, you see, this is the action that will be taken if this action was committed within the within the kingdom, man. What's so hard to understand that? Why are why are why are the why are men uh being labeled as uh, uh rapists for teaching the doctrine in this, in this in this true veracity, man? It's because the majority of you are offended. You see? And you're doing this for filthy lucre. You you want to speak those smooth things to our people, man. For that loot, for that filthy lucre, man. You see? Let's get this. Deuteronomy 22 and 28, right? In the ESV, right? If a man meets a virgin who is not betrothed and seizes her. What does it mean to seize something? You take it. And lies with her. Matter of fact, let's get the word. <clears throat> Strong's H 8610 Tafas Tafas 
right? Catch, handle, lay hold, take hold of, seize, you see? Let's get the uh, the strong definition. Um, There it is, right? Let's get these, right? Seize, chiefly to capture. See, willed to overlay figuratively, to use unwarrantably, catch, handle, <coughs> lay, take, hold, over, uh, hold on, over, stop, surely, surprise, take, you see, let's go back, continuing on, right, Deuteronomy 22 and verse 29, then the man who lay with her shall give to the father of the young woman 50 shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he violated her. He may not divorce her all his days. See? He violated her. You see? <laughs> Meaning what? He raped her, man. Okay, but guess what? Now he has to now he has to deal with her for his whole life. He has to take care of her, take care of her forever, man. Alright? These are the circumstances if this was to happen in the kingdom. Okay? What's so hard to understand? What's so hard to understand, man? It's what the scriptures say. You can't go around calling them, calling them brothers uh, uh, rapists, man. Hey, that's a serious offense, man. Hey, and again, even in evil East society, man, the way it was put, the way it's being done, hey, you're defamating characters, man. Brothers could push the envelope if they wanted to. You know, but no, we'll let we'll let Yahweh Bashim Yahushai handle you, cause he's gonna handle you, man. He's gonna handle you, Jake. He's gonna handle you, Wayward Camps. You see, without a doubt. Okay, let's get this in Exodus. The brother brought out Exodus twenty. I'm gonna get this in Exodus uh twenty three. And one, and it reads, Thou shall not raise a false report. You see, put nine thine, put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness, right? Thou shall not raise a false report. It, do I just coin the false report? Because you don't have the two to three witnesses, man. You see, pursuing the Deuteronomy. And you and you are UIC members starting with your leaders. And I'm gonna keep this as respectful as I can, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. I'm just gonna bring out the facts through the spirit. You know, but starting with the leadership of IUIC, you're all about uh the laws, the laws, the laws. But here it is, <clears throat> from the leadership down, you're breaking the uh, uh some of some some major laws, man. Come on, man. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 19 and verse 15, and it reads, One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity. And that's sin on top of sin, right? Or for any sin. And any sin that he sinneth at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. Where are your two or three witnesses that the beloved elders of Great Millstone on down, all right, have committed these acts? You don't have them, okay? You don't have a mention. So what? You you're you're bearing false witness, and and what scriptures say about bearing false witness? Are you gonna escape? Well, let's find out. Let's get this in Proverbs. Let's get this in close out because the point's made. You know, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, per, you know, these type of things are going to happen. This is part of being persecuted, man. The real men of the Lord are going to be persecuted because these are the wicked Pharise Pharisees and Sadducees of the days of old, man. <laughs> these are these wicked niggas back on the scene. It's all it is. See? And we can't forget it was Jake that uh, delivered Yahweh Shai to the Romans, man. It was Jake. Hey, these same wicked niggas are back again, man. Hey, but this time around, you're going to lose, man. 
Hey, you're going to have to, hey, it's time to pay that bill. Okay, let the blood be on our children. Now. It's, it's time to pay that bill. See, horrendous judgments coming to you, wicked Jake, man. Horrendous judgment, man. The book of Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 15, it reads, A false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaketh lies shall not escape. You see, so hey, you're not going to get away with what you've done. You wayward camps are going to pay. Hey, it's only a matter of time. Hey, Jacob's trouble. It's hey, it's called Jacob's trouble for a reason. But hey, but some of you think Jacob's trouble is gay, right? Hey, pff, we're going to see about that. We're going to see about that, man. Because famine, World War Three, the pestilences, right? The teeth of wild beasts. Hey, all these things are real, man. Hey, and a lot of these things are already on the scene. Hey, your president told you that there's a food shortage, man. There's a wheat shortage. Farmers are complaining. Hey, this thing's a, the famine that's right around the corner, it's a reality. Okay? It's a reality. Hey, there was already a global uh, scamdemic, what, back in 19, 2019? Hey, that sound was really flowing around, man. Whether, hey, it is what it is. Something was going, something was flowing around. You know, people were getting sick. You know? Hey, but we understand that it was part of that jam. That jammy jam jam. That juicy juice juice. You see? Hey, they, they're spraying things in the air for sure. You know? <laughs> we can, As we can see. You know, for the most part, they could have flipped and bounced the common cold in the flu. You know, you get people to get that juicy juice juice. And they, again, they're spraying things. You see, hey, they don't have the CDC for no reason. You see? Remember, all man's goings are of the Lord. These things are re a reality, man. Hey, and you wicked camp, you wicked niggas are going to get caught up in the midst of these calamities, man. Because like the elders say, you didn't know what you were involved in and you thought this thing was a game. You thought you could just go around, do what you wanted to do, talk all this shit, right? Be wicked. Get on, get on, uh, um, go along to get along. Right? Fal make, fal most, make, uh, uh, make false accusations. Right? Bear false witness. Slander your brothers. And you thought this was going to go on the counter for? No! These things are not going to go on accounted for, man. Hey, you're going to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Remember, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is long suffering. It may be all good now. Hey, it ain't going to be all good later. He's going to get you. Matter of fact, let's close out here. <clears throat> let's close out here. The book of Galatians, chapter 6. This will be a perfect scripture to close out on. Right, the book of Galatians, chapter six, and verse seven, and it reads, "Be not deceived. Don't fool yourself, man. You catch over at the IUIC, you other wayward camps, right? You other wicked niggas in the background. Don't fool yourself. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that." Shall he also reap all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash? Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Kal halalim la Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kwadash, Shalom.